Hello, dear friends, Chris here. This is part two, part two of Craft Art Club. So, first, get the obligatories off the page. Um, Facebook uh, Dime Painting Group with Angie from Angie Dime Painting Adventures will be linked below. Join us, answer the questions. It's a great little group. Secondly, Instagram, my Instagram information will be linked below as well. Thirdly, I, the month of January, I am doing a Funzies Diamond Paint Along community thing. Uh, Gustav Klimt, use the hashtag DPKlimt2022. If you have a Klimt, work on it with us and show us your projects and your progress. It's just a Funzies event for us to all share and be united in. So, and number four, I do not know the... Uh, What's the word? I don't know the con the um Chris think think I ha see when you take a break from filming things happen. Uh, I don't know if this is artwork from places it shouldn't be. Let's just put it that way. So if that's an issue for you, thank you for watching until this point. I appreciate you and uh, let's move on. So I have two paintings for you. The first one I have, it's a 60 by 40. This has 24 colors. They're both round. Um, this one, I, I, I seen both of these and was really excited about them. I was, I love them to death. Now, I don't generally get a lot of regular diamond paintings from the budgets anymore because I like to get special shapes and I get larger, um, a lot of larger dime paintings from more premium companies. But I seen these two and these are must haves for me. Um, so the first one, like I said, is 60 by 40, 24 colors. They are all letters in the symbols, no symbols and no numbers. So first let's look at the legends of the fall. As you could see, So we have a lot of different colors here. You could see the drill field as a little sneak peek. Sneaky peeky. Okay, so I'm gonna show it to you and then we're going to read it because this does have writing. Are we ready? Now this one will be perfect for the diversity event that Grace and Kina will be hosting in the coming months. Diversity means a lot of things, but I found this and I was like, I first of all, whether the event happened or not, I don't care. I was getting this, but this is a perfect, because it's a person of color or people, women of color. And I love this because this is a very American uh, style. And I, I'm so happy about that because generally a lot of times um, women of color, especially African women, are done in the African continent type style, as we all know. So it's nice to see a modern American type females here. So let's read what it says, because in case you can't read it, because the script down here, I know what it is. It could be better. I wish it was more blocked, but it's not horrible. It's not as bad as, you know, it could be. And it's not as great as it could be. Let's put it that way. Um, but anyways, let's look at the panels. So the first panel says, Be strong while you are weak. Be brave while... Oops, sorry. While you are scared. Be humble while you are victorious. And be badass every day. Now, how fantastic is that? This is a fantastic message for anybody. It's an inspirational painting. And again, celebrating the diversity. I just simply love this. Miranda, I think you will love this too. Are you getting it? Is it in your cart yet? Craft Art Club, Craft Art Club. <laughs> so let's look closer. 
Now, the in the both panels, the first and set, last panel, the writing in the earring is probably not going to show up. Hers says goddess. I checked out the thing, the painting beforehand to see what it looked like. Um, that's what hers says. I don't have any issue personally with the drill field. It all looks clear to me. And in her earring, it says queen. I hope you can see it because I can't see what I'm showing you. So again, that's the only parts that I'm worried about. Um, I thought about possibly just doing it in skin tone or, or hair colors. I don't know what I'll do until I get to that because I don't know if the background will peek out too much. So we shall see. It's all an experiment. But um, yeah, here we have it. This is just beautiful. And I'm not gonna take them out of the packages, but we have our drills in these are in baggies and this is how I I have stickers so I can read what they are and find them easier rather than reading from little labels because I don't store things together so as I said this is round these are the colors in the end beautiful look at these two beautiful colors next to each other beautiful yellow and red fantastic so as I look and I will say to one other thing, the background are two colors. Mostly it is one color, except in the little areas on the edges and on the bottom here, it goes from one color to another, but those are only two colors. So a lot of color blocking there and lots of color blocking in these back panels, mostly the solid colors. Uh, the purple, the green, the brown, and the red, but there are a couple of other colors mixed in, so it's not just solid, but um, I wouldn't call that confetti. I, I, again, lots of color blocking. In the hair, there's a few different colors, skin tones and all that. In the figures, there that's where the confetti more finds, but even that, that's not bad confetti. So anybody worried about that, don't be. This, this is a very, neutral, much more heavy on the color blocking than confetti. Okay, one second, please. Now, the second one is another stunning one. I would have gotten this, well, it appealed to me for a number of reasons. First off, it is, in case you just seen the little sneaky peek I did while taking it out, it's is a, I'll call it a gray scale because there's black rights, grays, and a little green, like sage green, light green, uh, just sprinkled in it. And I've wanted to do one for a while. I really don't think I've, if I've seen one, I've seen maybe one or two um, that are, that don't use color, that are, that are in gray scale. Um, and I've, personally, I have, some photos, or I've seen photos because I like photography in black and white. Um, and there are subjects, matters that I have thought of one of getting one or two customs in. Um, but I wasn't sure how, number one, how I'd like to do it. If it would be really, oh, excuse me, unenjoyable. Um, I wasn't sure. So working on a uh, budget-friendly company picture is a good practice uh, rather than getting a very large custom that I don't know if I like doing because of the color issue. I don't think it should be a problem. I don't have a problem working with dark colors or I don't love working with white colors, but I can overlook that. The As you all know, my main issues with colors is browns. Uh, so that's not an issue here. So I think I'll be fine with that. And the other thing, um, was, what was it? Oh, yeah, so the color thing was an issue I was worried about, but I think I'll be okay with that. The other thing was the um, subject matter spoke to me. I'm not a religious person, I'm agnostic, um, but 
things like this do speak to me. Uh, I, why, I don't know, but it does. Um, it's also connected to my mom. I know I would have either bought this for her to do or I would have bought this for me to do for her. Um, she would have adored this. It is a stunning piece of work, artwork. And, um, you know, it just, things just, you just like, you can't explain why. And this is it. And I have to tell you all, if this finishes as it looks, it will probably be definitely in my top 10 favorites of all time of diamond painting I've done. I've done. I know I've been talking without showing you, but first let's look at the drill field, the legends of the fall. So here's the drill field here, but the Legends of the Falls here. Again, all letters, and this is the colors. You see a tiny bit, maybe, maybe that's a little very light blue, grays. That's probably the greenish color, some whites, blacks, dark browns, or not browns, blues, and who knows. Um, those are the, you'll see. Um, and yeah, so it's 45 by 85, and are you ready? Believe me, it's stunning. I know a lot of you will love this one. Oh, okay. So let me back up. So here we have it. So look at this picture. This is a st stunning. Uh, that's the word for it. Background. So the black background here, that's all color blocking. Until you get close to the image, then there's some a little bit of different colors, but all this is black. Then here we have the light image, which is projected from the back. Again, gives it so much depth, so, so beautiful. The bottom we have roses and her gown, her dressing gown, you have you could see the folds, the creases in her, her gown, which make it look so realistic. It's just beautiful. Then we get to her wings. Her wings look so feathery and lush. Her hair even, I mean, her hands look like hands. They're not distorted. I mean, her face is beautiful. Now let's get, now that you've seen it that far back, let's get close. Again, here are the wings, and you can see the drill field. I can, I don't have a problem personally seeing any of this stuff. Um, I mean, even th this close look at her face, look at her hair, you could tell the definition in her hair, the definition in the wings, her hands, again, her, her, her gown. It's all so beautiful. I mean, like I said, if the picture on here renders true to form with the diamonds being placed, it's going to be absolutely stunning. Okay, so, and last thing is looking at the diamonds. I'm not gonna take these out either, but as I said, here's a little bit of the green color that I saw. We have a lot of, you know, darker colors. Coats, and some whites, whitish colors, but mostly in here you can see is dark blacks and grays, lots of grays. Tends to, it's really a, a gray scale, like I said. So it's just this, these two are really, really two stunning pieces of art. Completely opposite, but just gorgeous so tell me what you all think right leave me a comment do you love these are they your style i have a feeling that either both or certainly one of these will appeal to a lot of you out there um and i'm glad for that too because i you know part of having a channel and doing this is about appealing to your tastes um and I hope I did, and I hope you all love these. Craft Art Club, this is where these are from. Thank you so very much for sending these. Um, 
they're, they're both beautiful paintings and um, they'll be linked below. Please everybody, um, again, comment. Thank you all so much for your love, support, kindness, friendship, your comments, all that good stuff. Um, like I said, tell me what you think. And until next time, I please, I beg of you, please be safe out there and please be happy. Stay safe, stay happy, be safe, be happy. Bye guys, till next time.